What up, Palm Tree? It's your boy Chillin' Dylan, Jesus of SoundCloud, Black Tom Anderson, and your favorite rapper owes me money. Now, <sighs> I'm here to tell you about a seven song project. Out the way. It's from two rappers out of Carson, California. They go by Kill Loves and Trilogong. Now, you haven't heard of them. Neither have I. But my partner Noah Johnson reached out, said he wanted me to do the review. I said, okay. And this project dropped in 2022. But nevertheless, today in music, image is more important than ever. And let me tell you, when you put out undercooked, unpolished, and underwhelming material, you are not doing yourself or any potential fans any justice whatsoever. You know, there's nothing to really take away from this project. These guys have a very low key image where there's nothing really you can find out about them. There's really no personality shown anywhere on this project, anywhere on this cover art or on either of these guys, social media. I mean, for fuck's sake, the dude Trilogong's Instagram is private. You know, let me tell you guys something. Now, most of my followers are artists and creatives themselves. So I really want you guys to take this opportunity to listen and learn. You need to be a personality, somebody that fans can connect with. That mysterious shit that it don't matter, homie, just vibe with it. It's just the music, man. You just got to listen to the music. That works when you're famous. You know, Weekend, MF Doom, you know, who else is mysterious? <clears throat> Sia, you know, those dark, mysterious figures do that when you're popping. Numbers back that up. Now, just because the boy Kill Love's got 11K on Instagram, that doesn't translate to the monthly listeners or the play count. But regardless of those numbers, I'm here to speak on the music. Think about it. Has any rap duo in the history of successful rap duos had no picture of them on the cover? If they're trying to be somebody, had no information about them, you know, a story about them, nothing, you know? So I strongly advise you guys for next time to put out your faces on the cover. So it's like, oh, I remember those two dudes. You know, think about it, you know, from a Raekwon and Ghostface, you know, where they doing the mysterious thing, where Merz and Slug, when they did felt do the mysterious thing. No, did I could go on, man. Did Currency and Wiz Khalifa do the mysterious thing? No. So I felt that overall this project had some pretty much bland and generic bars a lot of this every line was just predictable it was very dull um the first song was voodoo had a decent cadence i think his voice kind of compares to a big sean there the way they play off of each other is kind of similar to the cool kids but all all throughout these seven songs there's no personality shown here there's no reference to other things. There's no, you know, samples from pop culture or interludes to see like, okay, are these guys into anime? Are they into mobster movies? Are they into skateboarding? Do they sell dope? I mean, there's there's nothing I can really attribute to them except for they're, you know, going to talk about they getting money, they the shit, they fucking bitches, and that's kind of the whole project, you know? So... The song 999, I'm sliding in the suburban. I fuck with Shardy because she urban. I, I wanted to do the Vincent Van Gogh and cut my ear off when I heard that. This dog, this, these are just elementary school rhymes, man. These are just, I, I, I'm questioning who are you raised listening to, you know? And th these guys are out of Carson, man. One of them was in a Ab Soul music video, you know? So this is the city that brought you Ab Soul, the city that brought you Jason Cash. You know, you're supposed to be carrying the torch to represent Carson as its own city, you know, let alone L.A. You know, this is not a good representation of West Coast hip hop or hip hop at all, man. And and I hate to dig into your ass, but pause. But like you, you got to you got to work on your image, man. You got to have a have a clear picture of what are these guys about, you know, simply from the name of the project out the way. It's like there's nothing 
that distinguishes you from anybody else doing this. This is a reminder that being a rapper is too easy. You know, it's just too easy to get out there. And, you know, you're skipping so many boxes that, like, you're just so anxious to put out music for people to hear it. And it's like, there, there's no way to connect. Like, who are these guys? 999 had this generic trap beat, and I'm like, Yo, I was literally listening to this at the Starbucks drive through and I wanted to pause it so the, you know, person handing me my drink wouldn't hear it. Like, I'm not even trying to be a dickhead, but, like, this is really the type of shit you think about. You want niggas to be riding around through your shit and make sure it bumps. That opening track, Static, actually kind of reminded me of, like, an early title of the creator beat. Like, you know, something off of Bastard. But, you know, just with the griminess of it and the reverb to it. But, you know, you got to give me personality. You got to give me, um, you know, something that I could take away, like a message. Like, oh, who are these guys trying to be? Now, the song Shaded was actually chill. It had a laid back beat, laid back flow. Um, and then Lingo actually had similar vibes to that. That one wasn't bad. And then the title track, On The Way, had an elegant beat, but such a lackluster chorus this is just what easy rap sounds like, you know, um, you guys gotta, uh, get back to the drawing board and be like, okay, who are we going to be? How are we going to present ourselves? Because this is just way too generic. I, you know, I, I'm gotta come correct and I gotta come clean, man. And, you know, not every review is going to be a recommendation. Some reviews you got to use constructively to evolve, you know, and there's, I got to see a lot more artist development here. This review ain't even for my followers or for my fans. This is for these brothers personally to move forward and take these words and do something with it. And before I wrap it up, you know, it's also too easy to make these music videos. Name, I went on Kill Love's YouTube channel and subscribed, of course. And I had a chance to check out his video for, for SOS. And it was just so generic to the point that it was like, how much of the typical rapper light skin nigga can you do? You know, there's just no individuality is like, are, are you trying to be the Migos? Are you trying to be Drake? It's like, you know, no, you got to be kill love, my boy. You know, and I, I know there's something there. I, I know there's something there, you know, but it, it's just this was underwhelming and it was just not ready to get put out. All right. So I'm done with it. Out the way. Hey, is out now. So my man Noah Johnson, make sure you guys go follow him as well. Hey man, peace, love, palm. Are you an unsigned or independent artist looking for a review of your music? Well, you need to holler at Palm. Send an email to prettyawesomelitmusic at outlook.com or just message me on Instagram.